Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Got to address this. Um, the Adam Back thing, he slams Ethereum and many other alts as Ponzi schemes. Obviously, Adam Back is a very, very early adopter of Bitcoin. He wrote a lot of Bitcoin, a lot of the big, some of the Bitcoin code, and uh, he obviously is a Bitcoin maxi. Now, despite his high prestige in the cryptocurrency world being extremely early, I think you should definitely take what he says with a grain of salt. And I really think um, he's actually getting nervous looking at all these altcoins come up and nipping at Bitcoin's heels. So computer scientist and Blockstream CEO, obviously Blockstream CEO, Adam Back, has compared Ethereum and other high cap altcoins to Ponzi schemes in a t Twitter tirade today. <clears throat> BitConnect Charles Ponzi. By the way, Charles Ponzi is the guy who actually invented the Ponzi scheme. Ethereum, OneCoin, Cardano, Ripple, Bernie Madoff, Stellar, Dan Larimer, all looking very similar great to me. He actually said he said Dan Larmer, but I'm pretty sure he means Dan Larimer. Charles Ponzi and Bernie Madoff are two of the most famous creators of Ponzi schemes, while Bitcoin and OneCoin are famous cryptocurrency projects that were revealed to be Ponzi's. Obviously, uh, we all kind of know about them now. BitConnect took a lot of money. OneCoin stole billions of dollars. Back likens such schemes to all coins, Ethereum, Ripple, and Stellar, along with Dan Laramere uh, and, um, you know, Charles Hutchinson and Vitalik. Of course, his swipe came in a dialogue with TV journalist Leia Hellepern, who asked whether he thought Ethereum was a scam or if it needed value to, e to added value to the ecosystem in terms of dApps. But Back responded simply, well, 70% pre-mine says it all. I'm not a huge fan of like proof of work pre mines, but Ethereum obviously has a lot of enterprises on it. There are more enterprises, many more enterprises on Ethereum than Bitcoin. DeFi doesn't run on Bitcoin, it runs on Ethereum. And the thing is, like Bitcoin without the ability for smart contracts and a lot of the other technical things, plus the fact that it has no chance of scaling in the future, um, not like unlike Ethereum, it can't really go to proof of stake uh, because the, the miners would never actually allow it. I think he's actually seeing the future, and I think he sees it's not with Bitcoin. So he's trying to lash out as much as possible. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin hit back, calling Back's views tired and old propaganda. And Vitalik basically said, reciting, reciting tired old propaganda is becoming less and less effective every day. Ethereum is rising. Proof of stake and sharding are rising. Proof of stake and sharding is far superior to proof of work, which Back was a large part of. And roll-ups are here. All through a large distributed ecosystem working in parallel, the tides of history will not be favorable to maximalism. So, I mean, the tides of history will also not be favorable to proof of work because no one wants to have, like, a waste enormous amounts of power mining Bitcoin. It's not the first time that Hashcash proof of work inventor has taken a swing at Ethereum. In another tweet exchange in November of last year, he compared Ethereum to the now defunct biotech startup Theranos, which created a fake medical machine. But the thing is, like, so many apps and so many DeFi projects run on Ethereum that you can't actually do that. Back argued that management went too far into overselling what it could do while misrepresenting the state of the tech, adding that Theranos was uncannily Ethereum-like. Okay, so Ethereum definitely has its limitations. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. But that's not the reason, because Bitcoin has even more limitations when it comes to that. Ethereum might max out at, like, 20 transactions per second, but Bitcoin maxes out at 7 transactions per second. So if Ethereum's defective, Bitcoin's definitely even more defective. And that's not comparing to the uh, third generation cryptos now that can actually uh, handle hundreds or thousands of transactions per second. The computer scientist has been a Bitcoiner, Bitcoiner from the beginning and thus has linked with Bitcoin founder Satoshi Nakamoto several times. Some people who actually think he is Satoshi, I don't think so. He reportedly once claimed to have, been, to have had a beer with him in London. Um, and like our Bitcoin is getting worried, it's not difficult to imagine there could be a link between rapid rise of Ethereum price this month and mid excitement over the DeFi project and a revival of tribal, tri crypto tribalism from Bitcoin true believers. Um, I don't really think it's really the price that's got them worried. It's definitely like the usage because Ethereum has actually surpassed Bitcoin in usage. They're seeing the tides like tip against Bitcoin for the future. And I don't, I don't think like Ethereum in its current form is going to be the major threat. I think other blockchains that can process a lot more transactions per second are going to be a bigger threat and Ethereum 2.0 because you can't really have Bitcoin 2.0 because the miners would actually never go for it. So um, <clears throat> that's why I think Adam Back is uh, full of salt. And he's just trying to like <clears throat> discredit things that he knows will eventually overtake his own project. <clears throat> so definitely take what he says with a grain of salt. He knows of Bitcoin's limitations better than most people. 
And he's well aware that uh, second and third gen cryptos will overtake Bitcoin in the future. And I think that's why he's lashing out so hard, trying to keep the train going as long as possible, even though it is starting to come off the rails. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.